I recently read a book about habits, and I want to share that knowledge with you today. If any of the words or ideas that I will present today sounds familiar, please write the name of the book in the comment section, or watch the video till the end where I will give you the name of the book. Before reading this book, I had a question. Why do we do the things we do, and how we can change our habits to improve our lives? Why we do the things we do is a complex question that encompasses various factors, including biology, psychology, environment, and personal history. Much of what we do is a result of habit. Habits are formed through repetition and often serve as efficient ways for our brains to conserve energy. They can be both beneficial, for example, brushing your teeth daily, or detrimental, for example, smoking. Our actions are often driven by our desires, needs, and goals. We do things to satisfy hunger, achieve success, find companionship, or seek pleasure. Motivation can be intrinsic, stemming from within ourselves, or extrinsic, influenced by external rewards or consequences. We are social beings, and our behavior is influenced by societal norms, peer pressure, family, and cultural expectations. These external influences can shape our choices and actions. Our mental and emotional state can greatly influence our behavior. Stress, anxiety, depression, and other psychological factors can lead to certain behaviors as coping mechanisms or ways to seek relief. Our genes, brain chemistry, and physiology play a role in determining our behaviors. For example, genetic predispositions can influence addiction susceptibility or risk-taking behaviors. Changing habits to improve our lives is a challenging but achievable process. So, let's imagine you're a superhero called Habit Hacker. Your superpower is to understand how habits work and change them for the better. You're on a mission to make people's lives healthier, happier, and more successful. I think by now you must have got the name of the book. The book I read talks about something called the Habit Loop. It's like a magic circle that explains how habits work. It has three parts. Number one. Q. This is the trigger that starts a habit. It can be something you see, hear, or feel. For example, your Q could be smelling freshly baked cookies. Number two. Routine. This is the habit itself. It's what you do in response to the cue. In our example, it's eating a cookie. And number three. Reward. This is what you get from the habit. It's the good feeling that makes you want to do the habit again. Eating the cookie makes you feel happy. The Cookie Monster Story Let's use the Cookie Monster Story to understand the habit loop. The cue. You walk into the kitchen and the smell of cookies fills the air. The routine. You can't resist, so you grab a cookie and eat it. The reward. That sugary goodness makes you feel happy and satisfied. Now, here's where your superpower comes in. Changing the habit. As habit hacker, you can help people change their habits for the better. For example, Number one. Identify the cue. You discover that the smell of cookies is the cue. Every time someone smells cookies, they want to eat them. Number two, change the routine. Instead of eating a cookie, you suggest doing something else when they smell cookies, like taking a deep breath or drinking a glass of water. And number three, keep the reward. The good feeling people get from the cookie can still be achieved by taking a deep breath or drinking water. It's just a healthier way to get the reward. Here is the success story. You help your friend, Timmy, who used to eat too many cookies. Now, when Timmy smells cookies, he takes a deep breath and drinks water. He still gets that happy feeling without the extra calories. Timmy's becoming healthier, thanks to Habit Hacker. The Golden Rule of Habit Change In the book, they talk about the golden rule of habit change. It's like your superhero code. To change a habit, you must keep the old cue and deliver the old reward, but insert a new routine. In simple words, you can't just get rid of the cue or reward. You have to change what you do in between the routine to create a new, better habit. So, 
As Habit Hacker, you teach people to find healthier routines while keeping the same cue and reward. This idea was taken from the book called The Power of Habit, which is a fascinating book that helps us understand why we do the things we do and how we can change our habits to improve our lives. And that's how The Power of Habit helps people become healthier, happier, and more successful by understanding and changing their habits. You're now equipped with superhero knowledge to become a habit hacker in your own life. And remember, with great powers comes great responsibilities. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and write the name of the book in the comments section. If you like this video, then you will definitely like the other videos we have on our channel. So, I'll see you in the next one.